Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet my pale hat pattern which I'm sure you would have guessed is what I'm wearing right now. It's a very basic beginner friendly bucket hat pattern. Bucket hats are very much back in fashion now, who would have thought? So I thought why not jump on the trend? I will let you know the rest of the details throughout the video but I hope you enjoy and if you do make this hat please don't forget to tag me on social media because I love 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 seeing all your makes. Alrighty, let's get into it. To get started, all you're gonna need today is four different colors of eight ply 100% cotton. I'm using Spotlight's Flinders cotton. The label looks like this. I've taken the label off all of these just to make my life easier, but if you are looking for it, this is what it looks like. We've got four different colors. So if you do wanna do a striped hat, then you will need four different colors or two different colors, however many colors you like really. Otherwise you could obviously just do it in one solid color as well. I'll take you through the colors I've got here in case you wanna do it in the exact same colors as I've got. So you've got the okra, turmeric, natural, and dark bottle. And then I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You will need some scissors at some point and also a stitch marker. I use a bobby pin. Um, and you will also need a darning needle at some point at the end just to sew in all your ends. So anyway, once you've got everything ready, let's get started. Now, if you are using multiple colors, first up, you want to figure out what order you want your colors to be in. So have a play around see you know what you think works best I think I'm going to go with this color combo this color order um maybe this way oh now I'm second guessing myself no I think I like it this way okay so we're going to go with the okra the turmeric the natural then the dark bottle now which color you start with really doesn't matter I'm going to start with the okra so grab your starting color and we will be starting at the crown of the hat. So whichever color you want to be right at the very top of your hat. I will also add that this pattern is beginner friendly. All you need to know is the chain stitch, the single crochet and how to increase, which is basically just putting two stitches into the one stitch. Very, very straightforward, very easy. You will also need to know the magic circle technique, but in saying that you do not have to use a magic circle if you don't want to. I know a lot of people don't like using a magic circle, but for things that are worked in the round, I really enjoy using a magic circle. I do have a tutorial on my channel, which I will link above. So if you do want to go and learn that really quickly before we get started, please feel free to do so. Okay, before we get started, I will also just mention that if you would like to download the written version of this pattern you can find it for free on my blog I will link it in the description down below otherwise if you would like an ad free printable PDF you can also purchase that either from my website or from all good pattern buying websites I will link them down below as well okay so to get started we are going to be starting off with a magic circle like I mentioned if you don't want to use a magic circle, you could also chain four and join it to create a loop. But again, I much prefer the magic circle. So once you've completed your magic circle, you're just going to chain one just to kind of secure your circle in place. So you should have something that looks like this. And then we're going to be working in this direction, crocheting over our tail. And you'll see why in a moment, but basically it's just so we can pull that tail to tighten up the top of our hat and we won't be left with a hole. <laughs> Once you've done that, we're going to single crochet eight into the middle of that loop. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So we've just completed eight single crochet into the center of our loop. And now what we're going to do is pull our tail to tighten that up and create a circle. So pull it nice and tight so you're not left with a hole in the middle. Now what you want to do is take your stitch marker and place it in that very last stitch that we completed. 
This is just going to help you stay on track with your stitch counts and your row counts purely because we are going to be working in a spiral so there won't be a visible join or a visible seam, which obviously is ideal. We don't want to see the seam, but you will need to place a marker there just to help you stay on track. Next round, we are going to be increasing all the way around. So you want to complete two single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So finding that first stitch, completing two single crochet in every stitch all the way around and you should end up with a stitch count of 16 once we get to the end. Okay so here I am at the last stitch of the round we're going to remove our stitch marker just for now complete our last two single crochet and then we are going to take our stitch marker once again and pop it into that very last stitch so that will mark the last stitch of the round. Next, we want to increase again, but this time we are going to be completing one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet in the second stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch. So going into that first stitch with one single crochet, going into the next stitch with an increase so two single crochet and we're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker so one single crochet in the first stitch two single crochet in the next stitch all right so we're here at our last stitch once again we're removing our stitch marker and completing our last increase. So two single crochet into that very last stitch. And then we're placing our stitch marker back in the last stitch that we completed. So that is the end of round three. We're now moving on to round four, which is another increase round, but this time we're going to be completing two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So finding that first stitch, completing our increase. So two single crochet in that first stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're gonna be doing an increase, one single crochet, one single crochet and repeating that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. So here we are at the end of round four, removing our stitch marker and completing our last stitch, which in this case is just one single crochet because we started with our increase for this round. So you will notice as we go through the pattern that you will alternate each row, whether you start on an increase or just a single single crochet. The reason for this is because you don't want to stack your increases on top of each other because that will leave you with like a hexagon shape and not a circle. So we want to prevent that because obviously we want this to stay round. So we are alternating where we put our increases just to prevent that straight edge hexagon shape. Alrighty, so now that we have come to the end of round four, we are actually going to complete a color change. Now this is only relevant if you are doing four different colors like me, or if you are doing two different colors or three different colors and you do wanna have the same width of stripe as me, I am going to be changing color after every four rounds. So just keep that in mind if you are wanting a striped hat. So what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and cut my yarn and we're just going to join in our next color so round five will start with a single single crochet so going into that first stitch and then to join our new yarn I just like to yarn over with the new color 
and complete that first single crochet. We're then going to complete two more single, single crochets. So we will have three single crochets in a row all together. And then we're going in with an increase. So two single crochet in that next stitch. So it's single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. And again, we are repeating that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. So three single crochets and then an increase. Okay, here we are back at our stitch marker, removing that once again and completing our last stitch, which in this case is an increase. So two single crochet in that last stitch. Then we are placing our marker back in that very last stitch that we completed. And we are starting on round six, which again is an increase round. We are going to be starting with an increase for this round. So going into that first stitch with two single crochet. And then we're gonna complete four single, single crochets. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then we start the pattern again. So increase followed by four single crochets, repeating all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Okay, once again, we are back here at our stitch marker. So removing that and completing our last single crochet. Placing our marker. And now we're ready to start on round seven. So for round seven, we're starting with one single crochet in the next five stitches and then we increase. So one single crochet in five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five and then we increase. So two single crochet in that sixth stitch and repeating that once again, all the way around. So five single crochet followed by an increase. Okay, here we are at the end of round seven, removing our stitch marker and we are going to be completing our last increase. Placing that stitch marker back in our last stitch and we are now ready to start on round eight. So for this round we're going to be starting with an increase. So two single crochet into that first stitch and then we're going to be completing six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to be repeating that again all the way around. I'm sure you guys have caught on that it's a bit of pattern, so pretty easy to follow along with, but just repeating that all the way around. So increase followed by six single crochet. All right, so we've just finished round eight, which means we are now due for a color change if you're doing stripes. So I'm going to cut my yarn and we're going to join in our next color, which for me is this natural color. So again, just joining it in the same way we did before, completing that first single crochet. And now we're going to begin on round nine. So we're starting with seven single crochets and then an increase. So I've already completed my first single crochet there when I joined in the yarn. And then we're going to complete six more. So a total of seven. So two, three, four, five, six. 
seven. So seven single crochets, and then we are completing an increase. So two single crochet in that next stitch. And once again, repeating that all the way around. Okay, here we are at the end of round nine. I'm just gonna do a quick stitch count check. So you should currently be on a stitch count of 72. So go ahead and count your stitches. I do recommend counting them after each round, especially if you are a beginner, just to make sure that you are on track. You will probably notice if your stitch count is off because your stitch pattern won't quite work out. So if you know you're meant to finish on a, an increase and you're finishing on a single single crochet, then you probably know that your stitch count is off. But at the end of round nine, we should be on a stitch count of 72. So moving on to round 10, we are of course starting with an increase. Followed by eight single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then again, repeating that all the way around. So increase followed by eight single crochet. We're now at the end of round 10. We're moving on to round 11. So for round 11, we're starting with nine single crochet followed by an increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we are completing an increase. So two single crochet in that next stitch. And then once again, repeating that all the way around. So we've got nine single crochet followed by an increase all the way around. Okay, here we are at the end of round 11. We are now moving on to round 12, which will begin with an increase. So completing two single crochet in that very first stitch and then that will be followed by 10 single single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 and once again repeating that all the way around so we are doing an increase followed by 10 single crochets. Okay so we have just finished round 12 which is our very last increase round. Now you may notice that your work isn't laying completely flat. It might be a little bit puckered. You can go ahead now and block this piece if you want to. Um, absolutely not necessary. This is an optional step. If you did want to block it, you are more than welcome to. I'm not going to, but once you wear it, you will find that that little bit of puckering will kind of rectify itself anyway. So if you want to block by all means, please go ahead and do so. But if not, we can continue. So I am now taking my next color because obviously we are due for a color change. So I am going to be joining in this bottle green color, exactly the same as we did before. Just completing our first single crochet. Now for round 13 to 16, all we're going to be doing is completing one single crochet in every single stitch. So that's round 13 to 16. So a total of four rounds in our bottle green colored yarn or whichever yarn you are using. This is the final color change. And then we just repeat those color changes going forward. So after every four rounds, we will then complete a color change. So I'm gonna go ahead now, complete rounds 13 to 16, and then I will meet you back here. 
Here we are at the end of round 16. Now, of course, we are due for a color change. So we're going back to the beginning now and going back to our ochre yarn, this orange color. So just joining that in with a single crochet. Now what we're going to be doing is completing rounds 17 to 36 and we're just going to be doing one single crochet in every stitch all the way around no increases nothing like that the reason I didn't just continue after this set of four stitches after our bottle green colored yarn is I just wanted to stop and just remind you all that you will need to change colors every four rounds so I'm not going to be stopping after each color anymore we're just going to continue all the way through to round 36 but I did just want to stop here and remind you that you will need to change colors after every four rounds so I am now going to go ahead start on round 17 and I won't see you until I have completed round 36 but just remember once again you do need to change colors after every four rounds if you are doing a striped hat like I am so anyway I'm going to go ahead do that and I will meet you back here at the end of round 36 so again just completing one single crochet in every stitch all the way around super duper easy until you've reached round 36 I'll see you there Okay, here we are at the end of round 36. Now we are moving on to round 37, which is the beginning of our brim. So of course we are due for a color change if you're doing stripes. So I'm just cutting my yarn and then joining in the next color, which is this turmeric. So the next round is going to consist of one single crochet increase all the way around so single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase so on so forth all the way around until you get back to the beginning so I'm just going to join in that yarn again just with a single crochet just like that and then we are going to increase in the next stitch so single crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next stitch I'll just show you guys again one more time pretty straightforward but single crochet in the first stitch increase in the next stitch and just repeating that all the way around until we get back to the beginning so now that we're at the end of round 37 we should have a total stitch count of 144 now this will be our final stitch count there are no more increases from this point on so 144 should be your final stitch count now we begin the brim section of our hat so all we're going to be doing from this point on is one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we reach round 52 again you want to change colors every four rounds but it's super simple from this point on just one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you reach round 52 now in saying that if you wanted to make your brim shorter or longer you by all means can you do not have to do the 52 rounds if you don't want to you can stop early or you can continue on if you want to make it bigger totally up to you I do recommend trying it on as you go or trying on trying it on the person you are making it for as you go and you can measure but I am going to be doing a total of 52 rounds all together so we're now going to begin round 38 so from round 38 to 52 we are going to be doing one single crochet in every stitch all the way around and don't forget to change colors if you're doing stripes like me Okay, so here we are at the end of round 52. We have one round to go, but I just thought I would show you quickly what your hat should be looking like 
so far it should be pretty much looking like a hat um, round 53 is our last round and all that consists of is slip stitching so we're just going to go around in every stitch and complete a slip stitch all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker and then we're going to be fastening off and sewing in our ends and then we're done the reason that we're slip stitching around is just to finish off this edge just to give it a neater more professional looking finish um, so I'm going to go ahead and and do that now I'll do the first few with you let me just zoom in for you guys so basically all you're doing is going into every single stitch using that same color that you just finished your last block of four on and going into every stitch with a slip stitch And just doing that all the way around until you get back to the beginning. I'll meet you back here. Here I am at the end of round 53, our slip stitch round. Now I haven't finished my last slip stitch yet because I just wanted to show you guys that you can now take out your stitch marker. We won't be needing that anymore. And we're just going to slip stitch in that last stitch. And then we can cut our yarn. And pull that through and we can now just fasten that end off and now all we have to do is go in and sew in our ends and we are done but I just wanted to show you first of all if you flip your hat inside out so all your ends are exposed you will see that they're kind of paired up so obviously where we've done the color changes there's two ends except for right at the beginning of course but say here for instance you can see we've got a yellow end and an orange end what I'm going to do before I sew in the ends is just go in and tie a knot in them I like to do a double knot just to make sure they are nice and secure and that will also help hide that seam as well not that there is really a visible seam but you can still see where you've done your color changes if you look hard enough so if you just tighten these up and tie a knot in them that will help hide those color changes so you won't really be able to see a seam unless you're really really looking hard for it but no one's going to notice <laughs> so just going through and tying knots to secure all those ends and then once you've done this, you can take your darning needle, sew in all your ends, and then you are done. Okay, so I've just finished tying knots in all my ends. Now I'll just flip it inside out and show you guys that you now can barely notice a seam. Like I said, if you're really looking hard for it, of course, you will be able to still see it slightly, but the average person is not going to notice you can always just wear it with that part at the back if you like if you do think that people may notice it but at the end of the day no one is really going to be looking for a visible seam you know anyway guys this is what your hat should look like i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do make this hat please don't forget to tag me on social media i would love to see your makes if you have any questions at all please comment in the comment box down below i will try my very best to help if you did like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as always and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you will be notified of all my future videos but until next time I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe see you guys bye